What's going on, folks? Kurt and Justin here for another episode of Black and White. First time survivalists. We're inside the house today. It's a little bit chilly outside. Uh, and plus, we have some unboxings to do, and I, we don't have the room out there for it. Yeah, we wanted you guys to be able to see everything without having to hold it up and try to figure out where we are on the camera and all that stuff. So we've got a couple of things to go through today. Um, I think first we'll probably start off with the biggest, most complicated one, and that is survival bag. Now you guys might recognize some of the knife stuff that uh, we had in the last video of my EDC pack, but this I ordered from Stealth Angel Survival. This cost us $108 before shipping and handling, so all together it was like a hundred and I think $12 all together to get this pack. And this is a two person 72 hour survival pack. Now, all of these front pockets, I basically took the stuff that was in my everyday carry bag and put it into here because I only need one bag at this moment right now. And so, again, hold on, my bad. We want to uh, let y'all know, everyday carry bag is a bag that he had before. What we're making right here is going to be what they call a bug out bag. Yeah. It will get us, a bug out bag or a get home bag will get us through the next 72 hours. That's our plan for our bags anyway. Yeah, and basically like what this thing says right here on this little card is we are proud to say that through hundreds of hours of research, we have put together an all-inclusive survival kit at a very affordable price. This kit is designed to supply you with all the products you will need to make it through the first 72 hours following a natural disaster or a terrorist attack. Although we have included every item necessary to survive a disaster well, it is important for you to include some personal items, which we could not include. Here's a list of items we know could be beneficial to you. And that's going to go through a whole bunch of stuff, which, and, you know, we'll, we can touch on it a little bit, but we're not going to go through it. Basically talks about, you know, some contact lenses, change of clothes, copy of your identification, copy of your medical records, copy of your credit cards, uh, medicine, extra money, local maps, phone numbers, family photographs, little personal things that you might want to take with you, but we're not going to get all up into that. But basically, it's a pretty solid bag. Um, I got the camo one, standard backpack. It's got a lot of space in it, but that's one other thing we want to touch on. Uh, I'm sure you're going to see it at some point in time. We did a couple field videos again, and while walking, we have figured out the sling bags with, is with not, just the one shoulder strap. It's not the most it, comfortable. That's not good. It's we not are both going to convert over to a double strap bag. But basically, this is kind of how the bag comes packed. All right, first bag we pulled out. Uh, it doesn't look like the bags have any kind of um, organiz not necessarily organization, but no themes to the bag. So it's not like each bag, not like one bag's fire, one bag's food, one bag's shelter. And this we got a pair of safety glasses. Always good. Some waterproof matches. That's probably a, uh, the five in one survival whistle. Yeah, the whistle got a uh, compass on there. I'm pretty sure this is a storage compartment to put your matches in my bag. It's probably going to be a uh, waste bag. Maybe. Or no? No? That looks like it's personal information type stuff right there. Oh, yeah, it is a bag. It's a biohazard bag. So it's what you put your dookie in if you need to save it for whatever reason. I don't know. You might be weird. You might want to. Hey, like we said, might want to save your shit. Insulin needles. Yep. There we go. All right. So that's going to be our 36-hour survival candle. Nice little candle. candle. Nice little wick on it. Like you got pad of paper, pad pencil. and golf pencil. You know, write down your thoughts. Draw pictures of birds. Um, draw an uh, uh, you know uh, enemy Man. or something. I don't know. Draw President Trump. I have a couple little uh, paper tablets. They're waterproof. This one doesn't say that it is, but I, don't I believe would... it is. Okay, here we go. So this go. is the additional one. This is going to have a notepad, golf pencil, infectious waste bag. It's got our uh, survival playing cards in it with um, valuable survival skills that will educate you in an emergency situation as well as keep you entertained. And see, that's the big thing for me is entertainment because uh, I've been used to TVs and internet. We're, we're, we're city boys. you know. We've got game systems. We've got cable. We've got Netflix. Once we get out there by ourselves and it's just going to be me and him, that's going to be the base of our entertainment. Because me, I'm a movie freak. Anybody who knows me personally, I've got almost every movie you can think of. If it's entertaining, if it's action, if it's comedy, I got it. Old, new, I've got files upon files upon files of movies. I've got DVDs. So this is going to be something that we're really going to be putting to use. And then you got another a multi-tool. Uh, 
I think I have like three of these. Justin, this will be your second one. Yeah, it's my second, second one. or third. But like I said, redundancy. We're gonna have multiples in the bag. One of the things that you really can't uh, go wrong with. But yeah, you got knife, file, corkscrew, screwdriver. Uh, let's see what. There's your blade. Probably a bottle opener. Probably a small blade on there. Yeah, small blade, bottle opener. Saw. Two saws. That's going to be the real good cutter yeah. right there. I don't know if y'all can see how the teeth are offset. But yeah, it's a very nice multi tool. We've got a pair of scissors in here. Looks pretty solid, too. All right, so I'll let you put all this junk back in that bag. And Just right in up. here, we've got our little emergency radio. Comes with some AA batteries, so you got AM, FM radio. Um, also a little form of entertainment. And then this is a dynamo pump, three LED flashlight. So this is one of those flashlights that you don't need batteries for. You know, you just sit there and squeeze it, pump it up. Squeeze and ones and they got cranked ones. I think those are the best just for simple fact. If your batteries die, you got something. You know, you got, got a good little light source. All right, so now I think we're going to be getting into... The toiletry bag. Some of that, some, some of the food. Oh, okay. So it looks like we've got some of our emergency food rations. These are going to be the second, looking everything up so 12 400 calorie food bars right here. Um, I don't know about the taste of these. Uh, looks like there's six of them in that one, as you can see. So yeah, that's my big concern with these is the taste. What does it taste like? We won't know until we get out there. Here we've got a straw and some aqua tabs. Um, each of these purification tablets filters up to one liter of water. Hold on. And these are small tablets, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got ten tablets in here. We've got a cocoon sleeping bag. Are these a sleeping bag? That talking about? I think that's at least one of them. Yep, yeah, it looks like there's going to be one of these in each of them. Here's an emergency poncho, which uh, comes with two of them, I believe. Yeah, two emergency ponchos, two-person tube tent with rope, two 16-hour body warmers, and two emergency survival sleeping bags. So looks like they're going to kind of be set up for one person to have one bag and another person to have another bag. Um, so this is the bag. Got, I believe, yeah, this yeah, is going to be mask. the dust mask. And this is a N95 respirator dust mask. Got some pocket tissue, which... Great little fire starter right here. Um, we started a fire uh, a couple weekends ago. We used some cotton balls and some tissues, and it was right up there. Almost, I, I mean, two or three minutes of just hitting the flint, and, and we were good. We were in there. So we got that. All right. Um, here's the second one of those. Same exact standard thing. Now, on this bag, we have decided we're going to split this one. Yeah. And I like that. Just for a simple fact that we don't actually have to break that down. So he takes one, I take one. And we basically, we're splitting it uh, mainly so if someone needs something, we don't have to go, hey, let me get into your bag. And not only that, it's going to cut down on the weight of carrying all this stuff. Now it looks like we're going to get into one of these little hygiene kits. So now, do we have two of the hygiene kits. I believe one? we do. I believe we have two hygiene kits. So we got some fresh mint toothpaste. And this is something that we've talked about. Is uh, oh yeah. After a while, we're gonna start to stink. And I've got a little toothpick, little comb, which really won't be a bad for us because we're gonna be out there, so we'll be used to the smell. But Twin blade razor. Us up at the end of our trip. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. Uh, we got some deodorant soap. We got some deodorant gel, some hand and body lotion, shampoo and conditioner. Got some shaving cream. Um, it's gonna come with some moist Most towelettes, toilets. which that's gonna be great for now after we catch some item, fish. We don't need. Now this, these are some pads. They call them maxi pads. These are gonna be bandages because neither of our vaginas bleed. Just, no. just so you guys know, we don't have that problem. Um, neither of them have ever bled ever. Um, so I don't think we're gonna run into needing a maxi pad. Well, there was that one. No. But that you know they they are they are in there, and then it all comes in this nice little handy dandy washcloth, so you can fold it all up and keep it kind of nice and neat and orderly. Which um, I'm I'm a tad bit OCD, so 
I like everything to be in its nice, neat little spot. That's a good thing for me. Oh, yeah, I forgot the toothbrush there. And some of that, I think it's going to be a little uh, overboard. Sorry if I keep looking away the damn dog. Yeah, he's uh, he, he wants to be in this video, too. I believe next time we go do a hike, we're probably going to take him with us. Yeah, and we're get him on, used to uh, it. taking him with us when we do do our uh, camping trips. In one of our videos, we introduced Boss, and we'll yeah, probably yeah, bring yeah. him in in one of these videos and reintroduce him so you guys know uh, who he is and who we're referring to when we say the little asshole in the background. All right, so we got a body and hand warmer there. Now, how many body and hand warmers did it come in? These are 18 it's, hours of heat. Uh, 16 hours is what it said. No, I got 18 on this. On is that 18 hours? Yeah, the package okay, says well, 18 yeah. hours of heat. So, Does it only come with one? We're looking it up. Here. Well, I guess you can see that in the camera. It says two 16-hour body warmers, so I guess they're saying 16 hours just as a kind of like a standard Yeah, because this thing there. says one body warmer, so there should be another one in there somewhere. Oh, here's another one. There we go. And here's your hygiene kit. So, here we go. Throw one over here. Or I'll let you take the one that we already fucked with because I'm OCD. <laughs> All right. So in here we have some nylon rope. It's always good. 50 feet. That's cool. Emergency glow stick. Yeah, it's basically, I think what that's more for is like for signaling for help, kind of yeah. like an SOS light or whatever. Um, here we go. We have a emergency tube, so tent the tube tent with the rope. So you take the rope. Tie between two trees. You know, feed happening. it through the top like that, and it's got an emergency tube tent. Um, probably not too much room to, to spread out and, you know sleep like this and all that shit but i mean you, you, you know you got two people in there you got two people you got some shelter and then it's also going to come with some work gloves which this is going to do good for when we're uh dealing with some trees dealing with any of this rope having to string stuff up don't want to cut our hands yeah so uh that's that's pretty decent and then id card yeah i guess yeah i guess this is going to be a little thing that you might want to attach to your bag name address um so that way, if you don't make it back, they know who you are. You know, they know they know who your body is. They don't have to go through identifying you. And then we've got a 107-piece first aid kit. Um, threats or treats a variety of injuries, sprains, bruises, cuts and scrapes, and more. Perfect for home, office, or auto. Um, we're not really going to go into no. all that, but what it contains is one reusable case. 35 plastic bandages, 30 plastic bandages, um, sorry, the 35 is 3 fourths times 3, so 3 fourths inch times a uh, third inch, or 3 inches, sorry, hey, this is, this is all new to us. So <laughs> <up>. <laughs> yeah, worst number. All right, so uh, 30 plastic bandages, 3 eighths of an inch and by 1 and 1 half inch, 2 gauze pads, uh, 4 by 4. Two gauze pads, three by three, two gauze pads, two by two, one two inch rolled gauze, 15 cleansing towelettes, 10 cotton swabs. Um, that's also a very good fire starter there. One adhesive tape roll, one tweezer, one lancet splinter remover, four tongue depressors, a first aid guide, and one five by six instant cold pack. Now, remember folks, a lot of these things have multiple uses. Just because it says it's a gauze pad, that gauze pad can double as a fire starter if need be. And, and since we have what seems like an abundancy in there, um, more than likely the cotton swabs are definitely going to get repurposed as fire starter and kindling for us. Because one thing that we are not trying to struggle with is fire. Even though I'm pretty sure once we get the flame going, I'm a pyro. That's I, I like fire. That's what I do. I could sit there at a bonfire for hours and deal with the fire. So yeah. I'm not really too worried about that, honestly. So next up we got, uh, I think this is our water pack. Yes, this is going to be our water. So in here, we have a lot. Where are we at? We have 12 four-ounce water pouches. This To me, this looks like a lot more than 12. I could be wrong. Maybe it's 12 per person. So one, two, three, four, four six, five, six, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, okay, so there's 12 four ounce water pouches per person. So this bag is going to come with 24. 24. Which, okay. I mean, that's, 
Water is, is something that as we, as humans, we all need. And because it's already purified, it's already sealed in this bag, that's, no, that, that's yeah. a no-brainer right there. And honestly, this is probably the heaviest the item in yeah. this entire bag. Off to the side. But we are going to enjoy that. And that's actually, uh, that seems like it's it. That's, yeah, that'd be the bottom of the bag. That's so. everything that we went through. So uh, just to go through a little quick run-through with you guys. Got my phone because, you know, we are city boys. We depend on technology. So in this, we got 12 400-calorie food bars. We have 12 4-ounce water pouches per person. 20 water purification tablets. Each tablet purifies one liter. We have an AM FM radio, a 3 LED rechargeable flashlight, 30 hour emergency candle, 12 hour emergency bright stick, 5 in 1 survival whistle, box of waterproof matches, um, 2 emergency survival sleeping bags, 2 16 hour body warmers, 2 person tube tent with rope, 2 emergency ponchos with hood, 16 function multi tool pair of leather palm work gloves, Two N95 respirator dust mask, 50 feet of nylon rope, safety goggles, sewing kit, which I don't remember no, seeing. It might be in one of uh, those packs that we didn't open, come to think about it. Like maybe in your hygiene kit or something like that. And then the hygiene is uh, two 24-piece deluxe hygiene kits with toothbrush, toothpaste, wet nap, soap, shampoo and conditioner, dental floss, twin razor blade, black comb, uh, four maxi pads slash bandages, washcloths, shaving cream, and six pocket tissue packs. Then it's also got your first aid kit, um, which it actually, that's weird, it says a 37-piece first aid kit, but that's 107 hey. pieces, so, you know, it is what it is. And then, additional, you have a notepad, golf pencil, infectious waste bag, and the survival playing cards. Now, as we said, um, you know, I spent, we, we, we split this between the two of us. So it was sixty dollars, yeah. basically, between the two of us to have that. As we've said before, and we will reiterate it every video, just so we don't get sued and so there's no confusion. None of these companies sponsor or endorse us. None of them provide us with anything for free. Um, we don't speak for the companies. These are just things that we looked at. They looked catchy. They looked cool. They looked decently priced, and we were like, "Hey, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go for it." So, um, Stealth Angel. Uh, StealthAngelSurvival.com. That's where I went and found it. Um, I got that eight-in-one survival pack. It's got the window breaker tool and a couple of other things in there. Flashlights, some some good little stuff in there. So um, that's what we've got from this pack so far. And we're gonna come back here in a little bit, and we're gonna do an unboxing of some blade and barrel boxes. All right, you folks, be safe out there.